Hi, I'm Ray and welcome to Mandarin with Ray. On this channel, you will find a series of short, easily accessible videos about Mandarin learning that will help you jumpstart your journey into Mandarin. I will also be on Patreon where you can find more in-depth materials about Mandarin learning and about private lessons. Um, a little bit about myself. I was born and raised in northeastern China, where Mandarin Chinese was spoken uh, mostly. Um, I went to college in China, actually in Changsha, Hunan province, for my degree in Chinese language and literature. So I spent four years diving into Chinese culture and the language. I still feel there's a lot to learn, so I would love to invite you on this journey with me. I moved here three years after college here to New York City uh, to pursue my dreams in theater. I am also a theater and stage director. As a theater creative, it gives me more insight into uh, people's mindset and people's lives here and the cultural clash between where I came from and where I am living now, uh, which is a melting pot of, of all different cultures. It's a great place for art and culture. So I am very much in the depth of everything that makes me think a lot about my own culture and language. Uh, so with this channel, it's also a platform for myself to digest and dive deeper into the background of all of this. The world is going a little cray cray right now. I think we should clarify for ourselves the feelings and emotions we're going through, which is really important. I think it's the first step into taking care of ourselves because it's not normal. Things are not normal at the time. So if you're scared or if you are frustrated, it's okay to be that way. And I know it's a little hard to be motivated right now. Um, and we're even talking about picking up one of the most difficult, difficult languages in the world, which is Mandarin. But I want you to tell yourself if you're okay watching this video. Um, if you're not uh, now or maybe halfway through, you feel this is too much, just um, click it off and give yourself some off-screen self-care time. Or if you want to go watch your favorite show for a little bit, that's totally fine. I am having both a really good time and bad time in quarantine and I would like to talk to you a little bit about it uh, and also teach a little Mandarin in the meanwhile. We have a cat here uh, named Athena. At the most frustrating time of me working, I once told everybody I just want to live like Athena. I want to eat and sleep and eat and sleep and watch people and have a little fun playtime for myself. And all of a sudden, I am living like Athena. And what I have come to terms with is that I sleep a lot. Like, quite a lot. 睡觉 means to sleep, which is something like this. By the way, if you are too confused by the writing or my sound notes underneath, just ignore it and do it your own way. I am now marking the sound of the Mandarin words in English spellings that I think make sense. If it doesn't, adjust it to your own version. Uh, and let me know if you have a better idea of how to animate these sound. The J sound here is G, G. It's a little like J sound in English, but you want to focus more the fraction on your teeth. G, G, jiao, jiao, shui, jiao, shui, jiao, shui, I also found my favorite place, which is my couch. My sha fa sha fa sofa or couch. Isn't that neat? Sofa is sha fa. Some Chinese words are actually um, borrowed from English or other languages, so the sounds are so similar. Sha when we sit on the sofa or the shafa, we tend to hang out with people. Uh, in my case, I have my partner and my roommate, which is such a big relief for me because 
it, it, it's hard to be alone and that my heart goes out to everybody out there who are alone quarantining and doing the self-isolation. Um, so if you want to talk to people or chat with people, you are liao tian with people. Liao tian li ao ti an liao tian. Liao tian means to talk or to chat. One last time. Liao tian. Now that our outdoor activities are very limited, um, if you don't have the luxury to go out, you might pick up some exercise at home. And I personally really enjoy this form of exercise. See if you can guess what it is. Yu jia. Yu jia. Yes, it sounds a great deal like yoga. Yu jia means yoga. Yu jia. I do this thing three times to five times a day. And I'm sure you're practicing it a lot too. A lot too. If you're not ordering takeouts, which would be zuo fan. Zuo fan. Zuo. Fun, fun. You probably have seen this on a lot of Chinese restaurants menus. Zuo fun itself is a verb, means to cook. To clarify though, chao fan, when you order that in a Chinese restaurant, is mostly uh, written in Cantonese, which I, I am not speaking. I don't speak Cantonese, I speak Mandarin. Um, and this is Mandarin means meal. Fan itself means meal. Zuo fan means cooking to cook. These are some of my favorite activities to do in quarantine. How are you doing over there? Let's go over these words one more time. Do you like to shui jiao? Shui. Jiao, which means to sleep. Shui jiao. And you can sleep on your bed or you can sleep on the sha fa. Sha fa, which means sofa or couch. Besides sleeping on the couch, you can also hang out and liao tian. Liao Tian to talk or to chat. Liao Tian. With a lot of sitting, I'm sure your body is throwing itself out of alignment. We need to do some Yu Jia. Yu Jia, which means yoga to balance it out. Yu also, this is inevitable in your days, and I'm sure if you haven't done it before, you probably have. Zuo fan. Zuo fan. And what makes it so fun? What makes cooking so fun? Zuo fan. Zuo fan. I think you've got it. Everything you have learned today is a little bit more than before you watch this video. So I appreciate you spending the time with me here and you should give yourself a pat on the back. Good job. If you are someone like me who wants something more substantial to hold in your hand and look at the text that's accompanying videos here, feel free to go on my Patreon page which is patreon.com slash Mandarin with Ray. If you have a trouble recognizing or identifying some of the sounds we use today in the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. For the next six episodes, I am going to talk about pinyin, p 
Pinyin is the phonetic system accompanying Mandarin learning. It's how I started learning my Mandarin when I was in preschool. So if you're interested, hit the subscribe button. Let me know what else you want to learn about in the comments and let's connect. Cheers.